Hey guys, I'm back with part 4 for this tutorial on how to build this farmhouse. Here at this one, we're going to be finishing the build. All we have left to do are all of the interior furnishings. So I gathered up the blocks we're going to be using here for the entrance hallway. And it's for the small living room area here. So you could grab any color carpet you want. I'm going to be using some gray carpet, white carpet, light gray carpet, brown carpet, and then some cyan carpet. Also be sure to grab some smooth quartz slabs, white concrete, full blocks of the smooth quartz. And then you can grab a few flowers, so I have the lily of the valley. And then I'm also going to be using the fern and the corn flower. And then you could also grab some birch trap doors, lanterns, sea lanterns, a flower pot, and a painting. So, I'll start with, here let me actually grab the sea lantern, I'll just swap out that flower. I'm going to have a carpet right here on the floor. I always like to have sea lanterns underneath to give off a good light source. So I'm going to carve out a bit of a rectangle like that. I'm going to fill it in with these sea lanterns. And then I'll cover it up with maybe the gray carpet right around there. And then I'll have maybe the white wrapping around it a little bit like that. And then the light gray. Now up here on the wall, I'm going to have some paintings. So it'll pretty much just be like a nice decoration here so it's not so empty. So be sure to grab those. Also, make sure to have some blocks, and I'm just going to pretty much shape out where the painting is going to be. So I'm going to leave around two spaces of light gray concrete until we meet up at that doorway. So, yeah, I think that's good. So we have five blocks of white concrete here, so I left a space on each side. And then I'll maybe bring this up on each side a little bit. And I'll bring it up to right around here. Does it have to be exactly like mine? But this is about how big I want my painting. So it's a three by five block rectangle. Now I'm going to grab the paintings. Maybe just have a four block one there. Maybe a two right there and then one. And then I want maybe two right here. So like that. And then I'll have another four right here. And then the other two. There we go. So that's just a nice decoration you could have here. Now I'm going to go up here on the second floor into the bathroom. On the other side of these paintings, I want to make sure to have some sea lanterns. And then I'll cover it up with the painting here. So it'll be a nice decoration here in the bathroom. And it'll give off a good light source. But I want to make sure to do this now. Because if we were to carve out a block here, it might remove the painting. So we have to pretty much do it really quick. So kind of like that, we have a sea lantern right there. So just a total of four blocks like that. And then I'll cover it. Oh, that is way too big. I'll cover it up with the painting. That one is good. So we got all that taken care of. I'll head on into the very, very small living room here. I'll grab the white concrete. I'm going to have just a couch. So two blocks on each side right here. And then three right down the middle like that. And then I'll have smooth quartz slabs. Then grab the full block of the smooth quartz. We'll place it right there. In front of it, we'll have a birch trap door. On top of it, we'll have a flower pot. And then I'll just grab the lily of the valley. And have that right there. And then one final touch. You could grab the lantern. Place it right there on the couch. Gives off a nice light source. Nice little decoration too. And then in between these doorways here, I'm going to have a cutout. So you could go at the top of the bathroom doorway. Just delete these blocks and then continue working your way all the way down to the floor. And we could go ahead and now grab these smooth quartz slabs. I'll have three facing up at the bottom. And then three upside down right above that. And then three upside down skipping over this space here. All of these individual blocks, we're going to have a painting. So like that. And then that one's good. And there we go. And then I'm going to grab a lantern. Maybe just have it right down the middle. Gives off a nice light source. And then grab the flower pot. I'm going to use the fern and then the corn flower. So now we have a nice cutout here on the wall, good decoration, and good light source. I'll get rid of that. I'm going to carve out a hole right here on the floor in front of the couch. You could grab the sea lanterns, fill it in. 
And then I'll use the cyan carpet, maybe just six spaces right there. And then I don't think I used the brown yet and the white. No, I used the white. I guess we'll use it again. So I'll have maybe, yeah, two white right there and then the rest of it brown. I think that looks good. So we have all that done. And now I'm actually just going to clear all of this and I'm going to head on here into this bathroom next. So I gathered up all the blocks I'm going to be using here in the bathroom. So be sure to grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, the slabs and the stairs, and then a weighted pressure plate, stone button, birch trap door, hopper, lever, some deep slate tile blocks, and then birch button, white banner, white stained glass panes, trip bar hook, a bucket of water, a flower pot, and a blue orchid. So I'm going to start with the blocks of the quartz. We'll have a full block right here, then a smooth quartz slab and an upside down smooth quartz stair, stone button on the left of the full block, and a weighted pressure plate on top of the stairs. So now we have the toilet right here. I'm going to look at the back wall. Make sure you have your smooth quartz stairs and we're going to curve eight together. So this is going to shape out the bathtub. And then I'm going to go here at the left and just carve out these eight blocks in the wall. I'll do the same on this side. And then you could go ahead and delete the four spaces here. Bring it all the way up to the ceiling as well. You could just leave the corners as they are. Those are going to be covered up anyway. Right here, I'm going to actually have a shelf. So grab these smooth quartz slabs. We'll place two like that. And then you see these two blocks of the pillar quartz. You could go ahead and switch those out with the smooth quartz blocks. It'll look better. Now, grab the deep slate tiles. Fill in all of the space that we just deleted. So this is pretty much just the tile for the bathtub area. And, oh, hang on. Let's go ahead and replace these blocks. There we go. And now that is all there is to it. Now switch to your full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm going to go right next to the edge of the bathtub, place a block there, skip over a space and place another one. Then you can fill in the empty space with the hopper. We'll have a lever pointing down towards it. I'm going to have birch trap doors in front of the full blocks and take a crouch and place one in front of the hopper. Now continue with the lever. I'm going to look up here. Have it pointing down so that's like the shower head for the bathtub. And then I'll grab the birch button, the white banner, the white stained glass panes, the trip bar hook, the bucket of water, then the flower pot, and the blue orchid. So with the trip bar hook we'll have it right here so that's like the faucet for the bathtub. We'll fill in the bathtub with the buckets of water. We'll also be sure to crouch and fill in the hopper. Grab the flower pot, place it right there, have a blue orchid. Then grab the birch button, we'll have it right there as a bar of soap for the sink. And another one here on the shelf for the bathtub. We'll grab the white banner, have one right around there as a towel. And another one right there. And then grab the white stained glass panes. We'll just have two rows of three, so this is the shower door. And then that is actually everything here for this bathroom. I really like how these new blocks look. I've been waiting a really long time for them to finally add something like this. And I think they look really nice. I'll head on into the dining room. We'll skip the kitchen for now and jump right on into the dining room. So here in the dining room, I just have some smooth quartz stairs, the full blocks and the slabs again. And then be sure to grab some birch signs, white banner, iron door, spruce fence, chain, and a lantern and i just noticed this pillar that i have here actually has to be in the wall i didn't notice that before so let me go ahead and just grab the stripped spruce wood and i'll pretty much just push it back so we'll delete actually all we have to delete is this chiseled quartz block and then these two kelp blocks and then just replace it with these stripped uh wood blocks like that and that's all there is to it now we'll go ahead and just get rid of that and I guess while we're over here, I'll go ahead and do the cutouts in the wall. So grab these smooth quartz stairs. And yeah, it's going to be all the way 
up towards the crown molding and then all the way down at the floor. Do the same on this side. Go ahead and have smooth quartz stairs facing up at the bottom and then upside down on top of that. And then upside down. Should I do it different? I'll go ahead. Oh no, we can't. Okay, so we're going to have to have them upside down like this. I was going to have a stair like on its side like that on each side and then filled in with the slab in the middle. But because we have these different colored walls on the back, we're not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to fill in a painting right here. But we won't worry about that quite just yet. So let me go ahead and grab the lantern again. And now we'll start marking out where the dining room table is. So grab your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're just going to have four right down the middle. So this is right down the center of the window. Lined up with this uh, beam as well. And then we have three blocks on each side. Then grab your smooth quartz stairs. We'll place these upside down on each side of these full blocks. Leaving the corners empty. Those corners will then be filled in with some smooth quartz slabs. And then continue with the slabs. We'll have one on each end of the table. And then two on each side like that. So a total of six. And then behind each one of those, we're going to have an iron door. And then we have to crouch. Have a white banner in front of each of the chairs. And then the birch signs are going to be on the sides of the slabs. So that's looking good. Now grab the spruce fence. I'm going to go right here. Right above the table. So look straight up. We'll have a spruce fence like that. We'll do the same right here. And then we'll have a chain. And a lantern. So this is a nice light source here right above the dining room table. Go ahead and get rid of these. And that's good. So now I'm actually going to clear all of... You know what? Let me add a lantern right there as well. And now I think that should be a good enough light source here for the dining room. So I'll go ahead and clear everything. And I'll grab the decorations here on the table and for the shelves. And then we'll also need the paintings. So let's go ahead and grab the paintings. And then I'm also going to grab the glow item frame. The flower pot. And then within the flower pots, maybe a fern. And then pretty much just any other flower you want. So I'll grab that. Maybe this one here. This one. And then that one. That should be good. Oh wait, that is too many. But it's fine. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'll go ahead and have the flower pots here. I'll maybe use this one. That one. And this one, and then that one. Oh wait, I used this one twice, my bad. There we go. And now, we'll use the paintings. Maybe have that one, and then two smaller ones here. Okay, and then I'll do a similar thing here. That is good. And now, for the table, I'll have the glow item frames in front of each of the chairs. And then I'll continue using some flower pots. I'll have, oh, you know what? I'll just have a fern like that on each side. And then I'll clear all of that. And then within the item frames, you can pretty much just have any food item you want. So I'm just gonna use all of these. And then I'm also going to grab a cake. So we'll have the cake just right around there. And then we'll fill in each of the item frames. So that's all looking good. That's about all there is. You know what? Yeah, that's all there is here for the dining room. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me just clear everything. We'll head on here into the kitchen. So I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using here for the kitchen. I'm going to be using this new block called calcite. It actually kind of looks like marble. And I used it for the counters and for the kitchen island. I thought it looked pretty cool. Also be sure to grab some birch trapdoors. A furnace quartz bricks, smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, iron trap door, sea lantern, and then just a regular lantern, campfire, smooth quartz slabs, hopper, lever, birch button, spruce pressure plate, and then a cake. So I'll start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'll look over here at this corner and I'm going to have the fridge. So just have 
full blocks like that. This empty space will be an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz again. And we're going to pretty much just have some cabinet space up here. So I have three blocks like that and then one going down. We'll cover those up with the birch trap doors like that. Right above it, let's grab the smooth quartz slabs. I'll just swap out the lantern. I have these right there. Now switch to the calcite block. We're going to have two right here. We'll skip over that space, have one here in the corner. Skip over that space and have another two. Let's replace these gray concrete blocks here in front of the windows with this block as well. These empty spaces, we're going to have a hopper, so it's pretty much just a corner sink right here. And then right here, let's delete these two spaces. We'll fill it in with campfires. And then we'll cover it up with the furnaces. Now grab your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll go right next to the furnaces. And we'll bring up a strip until you pretty much can't bring it up anymore. And then we're going to have another row two spaces away from that. As I mentioned in part three, I was going to be covering all this up. So that's what we are doing now. Now grab the smooth quartz stairs. We're going to have two facing up at the bottom, then two upside down after that. And then we'll go up here where these stairs are and have another two upside down there. So we're left with four spaces. We'll go ahead and actually replace this with the quartz brick. Like that. And then all this other space here is going to be covered up with a crown molding, but we're not going to do that quite just yet. First, we want to make sure to mark out where the oven hood's going to be. So make sure to switch to your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're going to have a total of four right here at the top. Right underneath it, we're going to have two sea lanterns. And then we'll grab the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have two facing up, lined up with those sea lanterns, and then two upside down after that. Right underneath these ones that are facing up, we'll have smooth quartz slabs. Now, let's grab the iron trap doors, have these right where the sea lanterns are just to kind of cover them up. And now it kind of looks like vents there. Can't really see it because the smoke is completely covering it. Now you kind of can. So there we go. It's a nice light source and then it's covered up with the trap doors. Now, grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll go right next to this oven hood. We'll have two right there. And another two here. And you know what? I'll actually go ahead and replace this block with a sea lantern so we have a nice light source here. And then you can grab the birch trap door. We're going to cover up each side of this. So now it looks like some cabinets. And that will cover this up with a smooth quartz slab so it looks like it's some storage but we do have a light source right there we'll go ahead and have a slab on top of this cover it up with the birch trap doors as well we'll also cover up these blocks here with the birch trap doors just like that and then let's be sure to actually do the crown molding now so it'll cover up all that weird stuff there so grab the smooth quartz stairs i'll just start over here i'll have these upside down like this then we have to kind of just wrap around this corner, bring this along, and then once you meet up with these stairs here for the oven hood, let me go ahead and move that over. You just want to pretty much go around it. So I'm right here lined up with these full blocks. I'm going to curve it out like that, wrap around at the top of the oven hood until we're one block after it, and then we'll bring this back in and into that wall there, and then just continue this along until you wrap around back to where we started. Like that. So, now we have all the crown molding done here in this kitchen, and now all that weird stuff where the staircase is is now covered up, and this looks really nice. Now, I'm going to grab a sea lantern, maybe just have one in the ceiling right there. We could get rid of that. Have another one, I guess, uh, right here. So these kind of like match right there. Then I'll have one more right here. Cover these up with the iron trap doors. So this is what everything's looking like so far. Let's grab the quartz bricks and replace these gray concrete blocks. So make sure to get right behind the oven as well. 
And then let's delete this layer where the chiseled quartz is, replace it with the quartz bricks. And then let's also make sure to delete this here, replace that right here, then this, and that. Just looks a bit nicer. So, oh, you know what? Should I do this as well? Kind of looks a little weird. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and have that as quartz brick as well. Why not? So, now that is all looking nice. So, I'm going to now just pretty much move all of this out of my way. I'll grab the lantern. We're still going to need this. And then the birch trap door, the lever, birch button, spruce pressure plate, the cake. So, we'll start with the levers. We'll have these where the sinks are. So, these are like the faucet. And then we'll have a birch button, so it's like a bar of soap right there. We could delete that. We'll grab the calcite. And we're going to have an island. So, it's going to be eight blocks. So, it'll be right there, I think is a good spot. Now, let's cover up each side of it with the birch trap doors. We can maybe just have a spruce pressure plate right around there, so it looks like a cutting board. We can have a cake there, and then we'll have a lantern right around there as a nice light source. And that's actually all there is for the kitchen island. Now I'm going to grab a flower pot, and then I'll grab three different flowers. So maybe just the fern, and then I'll grab this here, and maybe the corn flower again. So I'll have a flower pot there, one on the island, and then one right around there for the counter so it's not so empty. Then I'll have maybe the fern there, and then I'll grab these other ones, fill that in, and that. So yeah, I'll clear all of that, and for the shelf, I'm just gonna grab a wither skeleton skull, have it right there as a little extra decoration, I'll clear that. And then clear all this other stuff. And now the kitchen is all done. It's nothing crazy. It's not too big. But I think I filled it in nicely. We have everything that we need. Now the entire first floor of the house is all furnished. Looking nice. So yeah, this house really isn't that big. But it's actually still one of my favorite builds. I really like how this one turned out. We'll head on up to the second floor. And we're not really going to have much here in this hallway. I'll just carve out a hole here. I'll grab some sea lanterns. Fill that in. And then I'll grab carpet. So maybe some orange, brown, and gray. So a little something like that. And we have a bathroom here on the second floor. I actually think I kind of want to move this painting up. So it's like right here. So let me go ahead and do that. Just kind of move it up right there is good. And then got to fix these blocks. And you know what? I'll just leave it like that. We don't need any more light. That's good enough. Just wanted to move that up a bit. It kind of looked weird. But yeah, we have to furnish this bathroom. Then this bedroom. And this bedroom. And then we are done. So let me just uh, maybe clear all that. And I'll head on into this bathroom first. So I gathered up the blocks we're using here for this bathroom. Be sure to grab the smooth quartz stairs, the full blocks, and the slabs. And then a weighted pressure plate, stone button, birch trap door, hopper, lantern, white stained glass paints, birch button, trip bar hook, bucket of water, lever, flower pots, and they could grab maybe around three flowers of your choice. So I'm going to start out with the smooth quartz stairs. I'm going to have the bathtub right here. So you could just curve eight of these all together. If I grab full blocks of the smooth quartz, we'll have two right in front of the window. We'll replace these light gray concrete blocks with the full blocks of the smooth quartz as well. So it looks like the counter kind of goes into the windowsill right there. Then we'll skip over this space. You know what? We'll go ahead and fill it in now since the hopper's right here. So the sink will be there. And then we'll have another full block there. We'll cover up these full blocks with the birch trap doors and then we'll crouch and place it in front of the hopper. We're going to have the toilet right here. It's kind of like a private little area over here for the toilet. It kind of worked out pretty nice. So I have a full block of the smooth quartz there, upside down smooth quartz stair, and a slab. 
weighted pressure plate, and a stone button at the left of the full block. And then right here I had a bit of a shelf, so you could grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. And I'm going to have three like that, or is it four? I don't quite remember. We'll go ahead and continue with three like that. We'll have a slab there, and then another slab there, and then yeah, it'll be a full block, and then slabs up here. So a little shelf like that. And then switch to the lantern. We'll just have it right there as a nice light source. And then with the white stained glass panes, we'll just have two rows of three here. And then I'll grab the flowers, the flower pot, lever, bucket of water, trip bar hook, and birch button. And you know what? Something I think I forgot at the original version are some banners to look like towels. So I'll go ahead and grab those. Just some white banners is fine. So, for the hopper, I'll fill it in with the bucket of water so we have to crouch. I'll also fill in at the bathtub. And then the trip bar hook, we'll have it right there. And then the lever, so it looks like the shower head. We'll have another lever right here pointing down towards the hopper so it looks like the faucet for the sink. Let's grab the white banner. I'll have one there. There's not really a good spot for this bathtub. I guess I'll have it right there. And then let's have a flower pot right around there. And then here on the shelf. And we'll just fill that in. And now I think... Oh yeah, one final touch. Birch button right there so it looks like a bar of soap. And now that is everything here for this bathroom. We'll head on here into this master bedroom next. I gathered up all the blocks I'm using here for this bedroom, so be sure to grab some brown concrete, gray concrete. I'm going to be using this snow for the pillows on the bed. If your snow ends up melting, you could go ahead and replace it with some white carpet. Then, grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, then the slabs and the stairs, and then birch trap doors, and rod, flower pot. Then, I'm going to be using some gray and brown carpet sea lanterns, and then the two skeleton skulls, and then some flowers of your choice. So, I'm going to start with the smooth quartz stairs. Just have two of these side by side here at the back wall of the room. So these are going to be the nightstands. Then you can grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're just going to have five right here in the middle in between them. And then smooth quartz slabs on top of that. So this is the headboard for the bed. You could grab the brown concrete. We'll have two rows of three like that, and then a row of the gray concrete right there, and then another row of the brown. Then, this is where I'm going to be using the snow for the pillows, and as I mentioned before, if this melts, you can replace it with white carpet. Then, I'm going to grab the end rod, place this on each end of the nightstand, and then I'll just cover it up with a brown concrete block so those look like lamps. Then I'll have a flower pot on the inner part of each nightstand. I'll go ahead and grab the fern. I'm going to fill these in. Grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm going to look over here and this is going to be a little storage area. So just a total of six like that. I'll have smooth quartz stairs side by side on top of it. And then I'll grab the birch trap doors. Oh, whoops. Hang on. I don't know what happened there. I'll have the birch trap doors in front of these full blocks, like that, and then switch to the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm going to have three right here as another little storage area, cover these up with the birch trap doors, and then I'll have a flower pot right in the middle, maybe just grab that flower, and then the two skeleton skulls. So one there, and one there. Now the final touch is going to be the carpet in the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out a hole like this. Let me fix that. I'm going to fill it in with sea lanterns. And then, uh, let me just clear all of this. Oh, hang on. And then I'll grab the brown carpet and the gray carpet. And I'll have maybe the brown right here. And the rest of it gray. And now that is actually all there is here for this bedroom. The final room we have left in the house is this bedroom. I now gathered up all the blocks I'm going to be using here for this final room. Be sure to grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, the smooth quartz slabs and the stairs, white concrete, light gray concrete, some snow, and rod, birch trap door, sea lantern, 
cyan carpet and light blue carpet, painting, stone pressure plate, stone button, and I just have the creeper head, the zombie head, and the dragon head, then a birch sign, light blue banner, and an iron door. So I'm going to start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz, look over here towards this corner at this wall, we'll have two right there, and then we'll have two smooth quartz stairs side by side, so that is the headboard to the bed. I'm going to have two rows of white concrete there, then a row of the light gray, and another row of the white. And then I'll have full blocks of smooth quartz here, with slabs for the footboard. And then I'll have another two full blocks here, and then I'll have a birch trap door in front of it, so this is like a little storage area near the footboard of the bed. I'll grab the snow, I'll have two layers on that side, and then one layer there, so those look like pillows. Now with the sea lanterns, I'm just going to carve out a space of four right here, fill it in like that. So this will give off a nice light source here for this room and then I'll cover it up with the carpet. Before now, we'll leave it like that. Let me grab the end rod. I'm going to have it right there. I'll have a white concrete block so that looks like a lamp. Smooth quartz stairs. We'll have one on each side right here and then a slab there. So this is going to be a desk. Then we'll have another slab so that's the start of a chair. So I'm going to go ahead and clear all of that. And then I'll grab everything else. So first I'll use the carpet. So I'll maybe have cyan there. Then the rest of it light blue, like that. And then I'll get rid of those. And I'll grab the light blue banner and the iron door. So we'll go ahead and do the chair, so the iron door there. I have to crouch, have the light blue banner. We have the birch signs on each side of the slab. Now I'm going to start doing the laptop on the desk. I'm going to have to kind of place a little something like this, so I have a small painting like that. And then I'll have the stone pressure plate and the stone button, so now that's like a laptop. On the bed, I'll have the dragon head, so it looks like a toy. I'll have the zombie head right there. Maybe I can move it over. Right there is good. And then I'll have the creeper head right there. So now I went ahead and cleared everything else, and I'm also going to grab a flower pot. And maybe just a blue orchid, or maybe the cornflower. We'll have it right here. I might have forgot to grab that. But there we go. Now this room is all done. That's about all I'm going to have in here. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that here for part 4 for this tutorial on how to build this farmhouse. And that now completes the build. So if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.